Good morning, beautiful. It is Monday, October 21st, 2019. It's currently zero degrees Celsius. Happy Monday. It is daytime. It is election day here in Canada. Oh, let's talk about my moment of gratitude first. I am grateful I have a choice to go and let my voice be heard today about who I want to run my country, about who I resonate with a little bit on policies, on other things, <laughs> attitudes, um, things that are important in, in my world to me when it comes to taxes, healthcare, schooling, etc. And um, I've done a bit of research on things that I don't align with and parties that I don't align with. So today I am grateful. Is it frozen, little one? It must be frozen. Today I am grateful. I have a choice. Oh yeah, it's very frozen. Uh, I'll go get a little water for them. I have a choice to use my voice. And as a woman, I find it more important. I'm not about to go on a woman rant here. But for the ladies that have stood up in history to allow... There we go. To allow us our democratic right to vote as women in society. That's just... Seriously, it was not too long ago at all. My neighbor's fire pit is still smoldering and it doesn't look like anybody's home. And a cat is going up a pole over there. Alright, welcome to my neighborhood. It's Monday. So, women were excluded from the democratic process for quite some time. And I think it's, what, uh, 50s? I don't remember the exact date. Oh yeah, we're making the birds some water. Hopefully their little feet don't get cold. Um, man, I should have been a little bit more prepared with this today. However, anyways, women stood up for our right to vote and I am going to acknowledge their work and their sacrifice and go and make my voice heard. Um, <laughs> I'm not announcing who I'm voting for because it's nobody's business. Um, <laughs> and I don't want to start a political debate. So, I am grateful for that today. I hope the birdies are grateful for their water. Um, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. And as a, a citizen of your country, if you have the privilege of voting, you need to take it. And I... <laughs> I saw somebody's Facebook status and they're like, well, if so-and-so is voting this way and I'm voting this way, do we really need to go and vote because doesn't one cancel out the other? No, absolutely not. That is absolutely not the answer. The answer is to go and make your voice heard. The number of votes matters. The number of people that show up and do this matters. So you can't look at your neighbor and go, well, we cancel each other out, so it doesn't matter. It all matters. Everybody's voice, everybody's vote Everybody's democratic right matters. So there's my rant about gratitude. Ooh, isn't that little very cute? They came and got a drink of water. Sometimes I feel, if you've ever watched a Shrek movie, sometimes I feel like Snow White out here with all the birds fluttering around. I just want them to land on my arms and like, <laughs> music to start playing in the background and be like, this is the story of my life. That orange kitty, I think that's the same one that came and got the squirrel when we were having the fire that night. But, you know what? That's just the cycle of life. Again, there's a bazillion, bazillion geese landing in the backfield, so it sounds like the <laughs> geese apocalypse back there. Gooseopolypse. I don't know. Making stuff up. Ah, uh, look at these flowers. Look at these flowers. I'm not gonna touch them because they're frozen. We have frost this morning, but look at these flowers. There's still color in the garden. They're so resilient. What a good way to be. They're so pretty too. Even the apple tree, like they're getting a nice rusty color. 
There's some more reds I've seen this year. Um, I was looking at this the other day. Yesterday, I actually came out to take photos, and it just didn't work. Um, about how one side of the tree... There's two separate trees there, actually. And it came from a couple of doors down where the poppies are from. And there's one tree there, and there's one tree there. Ooh, ratchet nails. And this tree has very, very few leaves left on it. And this tree, it... You can clearly see does. And it reminds me of the phrase that people change, or <laughs> nature changes as it will. And people also change as it will. So even if you're standing in it together, side by side, things change on different levels. So it's okay if you're not on that level yet. And I think that's kind of where my thoughts were going. Um, meditation Monday. Let's talk Meditation Monday. So we had our moment of beauty. We have our moment of gratitude. Meditation Monday. I had great meditations this morning. It wasn't a sit down and breathe in and out sort of meditation. It was just kind of... Um, I'm interested in the frequency of certain things now. Frequencies. Sounds. How sounds and, and the well-being mix. Why I'm attracted to certain sounds. And as a, as a musician, as a fruit, flute player, fruit player, I, um, I like playing certain sounds better than others. So, and I've just kind of gotten keen on frequencies. So my meditations today were about frequencies and balances and um, just understanding sound a little bit better. Um, about reprogramming our subconscious mind oh that was the one i wanted to talk about here because it's been happening and why it started me on this um little rabbit hole on the internet today is about um how to change patterns in your life that you don't like anymore and raise your vibration and raise your frequency and it's not by having um reading a book it's by the actions that you're doing with it and i'm like this is making sense to me this is making sense to me and there's some things happening that are pushing me in a direction to go in and create this this thing that that is playing in my mind. And it was it was about in order to create habits on a subconscious level. So not like you look at it, you do it. It's on a subconscious level. Those those things that happen on our inside of our brain. We have to do them repetitively. So just like with sports, if you want to be good at sports, you got to practice the hurdles. You got to practice your baseball, basketball, football, whatever it is. You want to be good at music, you got to practice it. You got to practice it every day. You got to ingrain it into your brain. Your fingers are going to know where to go. Your breath movements are going to know where to where to do where to happen. It becomes a natural a natural sort of thing. So, um it just kind of brings me back to why we do the celebrate the beauty and our daily moments of, of gratitude and our daily moments of beauty. And I'm like, the universe is telling me I'm on the right track. Thank you, universe. And it's just like, we've been practicing gratitude here every single day, every morning for almost a thousand days straight. That's, that's like three years. Every single day. And it has become my habit. And I'm grateful for this habit. And I'm grateful to share this habit with everybody. So my, my gratitude journaling in this vlog has become a habit in my life. And I know I miss one or two a year. But this is my daily habit. This is in my routine. This is a little something that I do that is ingrained into my daily routine is sharing the gratitude and sharing that moment of beauty and making the vibration bigger. And something freaking clicked today with this in the meditations. So I highly recommend you go and check out the Meditations I've Tried playlist. <laughs> Again. Um, and it's just something really, really clicked there. Something about these habits. And then something else came to my brain today. This is a good babble. Then something else came to my brain and like in the last couple of days, but where this really clicked, clicked, clicked with me today in changing our subconscious patterns, um, it was uh, maybe a Facebook meme. And it was like, if you've lived your life in survival mode, 
up until this point and it's not working for you anymore, maybe you don't need to be in survival mode anymore and you need to come into living mode. And that struck a chord with me. That, that hit the hammer on the head for me. That gave me something really, really intense to think about. And it's like, yes, I have been living in survivor mode. There's been things from my childhood. There's been things from my teenage years. And survival mode is just the way it's been. And now, with practicing these habits of gratitude, it's opening up doors for me to practice living Not in survival mode, but just living and being. And I'm so grateful for that. And this is all like clicking today. And so this is why I'm babbling. But here we go. That that is my moment of... uh, um, And I thank you guys for being here that I can share it with you. And I can share my story. And we can share gratitude together. And we can share the beauty together. And I'm so grateful that... This has helped people along the way as I look at it. And I'm like, this is amazing. There's been people that have come here in a a moment of depression just to have something happy to go forth with. And they've come out of it and they're living productive lives. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so happy to have been able to help somebody by sharing my habit, by sharing my choice and by sharing my decisions and leading an example, you know, like, And like, you know, from being here, it's not always a good day, but there's always a reason to be grateful. Well, my friends, I am going to go in and have some coffee. Happy Monday. Manifestation Monday. Realization and gratitude. Being thankful for all the little things in in our lives. Um, I love you guys, and I hope your day is great. And I thank you so much for hanging out here with me celebrating the beauty. 365 days of gratitude. Mwah! See you tomorrow. Ratchet nails. Ha ha. I gotta go do something about that. I love you guys. I hope your day is great.